Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to look at the CatImage 3D Profiler tool and how we can use this tool to create some complex structural elements for this bus shelter. So what we want is a structural skeleton for it to support our glass wall and our roof structure. We already have the floor plane and a, a seat. Great, there's lots of different ways to create profiles using the 3D Profiler tool. You can create them in plan. Or what we're going to do first is create it in a section view. In our section view here, you can see there's my glass wall, my roof structure, and inside this, I've actually drawn a polyline, which is where I want my steel structure to go. With that polyline selected, I'm going to go to my CAD image menu and choose 3D Profiler, Extrude Along Selected Elements. The tool will have already selected the path that I want to follow. And the profile, I can dial up the profile of beam that I want out of a large selection here. I'm going to use a channel and 100 by 50. So it's a parallel flange channel. In this dialog, I can also flip the profile and change the anchor point of the profile. Once I've set that, click OK, and it's created my profile. If I highlight it, you can see it there. If go back to 3D, there's the first of my profiles. Now, we need some extra copies of this. So back in plan, I can zoom in, and there's my parallel flange profile. So I want to multiply some copies of this. There we go. So we've got some copies of that. Have a look in 3D again. There we go. So that's an angled parallel flange channel supporting the structure of my roof. Now, sometimes you may want some um, purlins that support the structure running along horizontally. So in that case, what we'd want to do is reset the this, the position of this profile so that it sits slightly inside. So we can go into the settings of our profile and change the position. So now there's a gap between our verticals and our roof and wall structure that we can put some purlin structures in.